Hello everyone, my name is Nomis and welcome back to another episode of Wasteland 2. We are picking up here right where we last left off. End of last episode, we finally made it into the inner sanctum of Highpool after uh, taking on Jackhammer and her crew of uh, uh, highly skilled uh, fighters. It took us a, a couple tries to get through that uh, encounter, but we finally did. Uh, now we are up here. I think uh, we probably need to talk to some people. Or no, we uh, we left last episode. Uh, we finished talking to these guys, right? Uh, so let's just uh, let's bring open our logbook just to refresh ourselves as to what our missions are here. Uh, we need to attach the repeater units to two radio towers. Okay, so one of those is obviously here in High Pool. Uh, restore power to the radio tower. High Pool radio tower has no power. We need to reset the breaker and restart the generator, which is located in the irrigation tunnels. Bergen says Kate Preston can tell us where it is. Right, Kate Preston. I remember hearing about her. Uh, we need to find Kate in uh, the high pool irrigation tunnels and ask her what's going on with the irrigation system. Uh, protect high pool from the wrecking crew. Uh, so that's going out to find the uh, camp, I think, their main camp. And that's outside of high pool. Uh, General Vargas has ordered us to search for Ace's logbook. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, so we need to go find this Kate Preston in the irrigation tunnels. So let's take a look around uh, our immediate area here. It looks like we've got at least one buried item. The wind whistles mournfully through the rusty struts of this empty tower. All right, let's see what we can dig up here. Get Nomis out with his shovel. Start digging. What treasures await us? A glass eye and some scrap. It'd be nice if we could find a trader, because we have a lot of scrap and stuff to sell. Uh, we've got a piece of machinery here. Let's go ahead and pick that up, I guess. A valve. Okay, let's take that. I suppose we will need this to fix the irrigation system. So let's uh, let's take a look around. Maybe there's another one laying around somewhere. It probably is. Uh, the small small grove of trees is peaceful. Too peaceful. Are you saying something is lurking inside? Arger woof woof. There is a dog somewhere in here. A vis a vicious dog. Uh, Garouf. Let's converse with Garouf. Let me converse with Garouf. Snarl, snap. Woof, woof, woof. Grr, snap. Alright, we'll leave you around, Garouf. Leave you alone, I mean. Alright, let's see. We've got some people up here. Let's go talk to them. Rangers, you gotta help me. One of the wrecking crew's mortars landed right on my roof. My house is burning down. Please, you gotta figure something out. Uh, okay, so that's his house. It's burning down. Let's head over to this contraption here. Oh, I guess uh, this is what we use. Uh, probably the gear that we found. The valve wheel was blown off by a mortar strike that landed inches away. There's no way to operate the valve without reattaching it. Okay, well I do have the uh, the valve. Can I examine? One interesting note, it looks like there's an outflow gate just above the burning house. Wonder if that could come in handy. Uh, most definitely. Yeah, there's the outflow valve right there. So, let's maybe open up our inventory. Grab this thing. Uh, use on this. All right, get that attached there, Nomis. Save the day. All right, let's go ahead and use it. On reattaching the wheel, you pull hard against it to open the valve, but it won't budge. It looks like some of the inner mechanics are in disarray. It'll take someone with great mechanical skill to complete the repairs. All right, who's got mechanical skill? Does anyone have mechanical skills? I know Gnomus doesn't. Of course I don't. Uh, let's see, who's got the mechanical skill? That's the toaster repair. Mechanical, mechanical. 
You got some. Alright. I doubt the Widow's gonna be able to fix this, though. Uh, let's examine this. One interesting note. Da 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 da. You try. While the wheel has been successfully riveted back on, the device's mechanics are still damaged. Someone. Okay, let's uh, use our mechanical skill here. Mechanical repair. 82% easy. Apparently, we can fix it with level 1 mechanical. Not as great as we were led on to believe. There we go, sir. Your house fire has been extinguished. Wow, great thinking. Rangers, you're amazing. Thanks. No problem. Updated our logbook. Looks like we got some uh, people to level up here, so let's go ahead and call this in. Awesome. Goodbye, Vargas. Let us take a look at here. Alright, so Nomas can level up. I'm tempted to just save these skill points for his sniper rifle. Yeah, let's let's hold on to these skill points. So we'll wait for our next level up so we can upgrade our sniper rifle one more time. Uh, energy weapons, we could level that up. Weapon smithing, that might be a cool one to uh, to level up. Install a wide variety of modifications to your weapons. Although we haven't found any uh, parts, really. Hmm. Energy weapons? Yeah, let's upgrade our energy weapons. Alright, commit those points. Done. All right, that's all we have to do there. Let's move on. Uh, to start talking to people, there's a bunch of buried stuff here. I guess these are just graves. Maybe we can find something in there. Don't piss me off, Rangers. All right. Uh, you could dig into the grave if you had a shovel, but why would anyone do that? Do you think they would uh, look down on us for digging into a grave? Possibly, hey? I'm gonna dig it up. Let's see what happens. I did a little quick save before. Uh, so we got some weapons here. Jesus Christ, Rangers, that's low even for you. Stop it. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're gonna take that. But uh, maybe we shouldn't. Uh... Maybe we shouldn't dig up anymore. I don't know. Let me let me know in the comments below, guys. Uh, is there anything really bad uh, that's going to happen to us if we do continue to dig those up? I don't know. It could all just be talk. Uh, the cover of this reservoir fell in long ago. Warning signs have been placed all around it to keep people away. Yeah, that looks kind of dangerous. Uh, just taking a look around here. What's this? A statue of a man carrying a motorcycle helmet. A plaque on the base read, uh, Alexei Chulkin, hero of Highpool, we are forever in your debt. Each squad member gained one skill point. Oh, really? So I can level up now? Four. There we go. Let's do it. Commit those skill points. Nice. We got our, our sniper leveled up there. Let's go talk to this guy. Uh, did you put down the wreckers because they're good guys or because rangers just kill people? Just like killing people. Um, we put them down because they were going to kill us. It's really the only reason. Let's go talk to, uh, or if this is Townie. You want to make yourself useful, go on down to the cistern and fix the irrigation system. Alright, I guess this is the cistern here. The jail door is quite massive. There's no budging it, but the lock mechanisms look pretty simple to trip. Uh, Juvie said, who's going to save you now, Redskin? No one. Ha ha. Alright, so that's preparing the jail. Can I talk to these people? What's funnier than a savage in a cage? Nothing. Oh, they got actually someone in here. Alright. 
Can I talk to them? Uh, Judy says, ha ha, a cage of steel bars bolted to the platform with a K, uh, cheap lock shutting, no guards watch the cage, and there are no comforts within it. There's a woman inside the bars, uh, blah, 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 blah. All right, so they're just taunting her. All right, so I guess that's something we could save. Rescue. I don't know what's worse, not having water or having water and not being able to get it to the crops. Kate's, all right, we got to find this. Kate lady. Uh, let's go ahead and dig this up. Man, they're just yapping away. All right, some more ammo. Distribute that. I'm taunting you because I have unresolved issues. <laughs> what? <laughs> Crazy. Uh, what's this? This will take you somewhere else. Uh, how? So much information is given. All right, let's go in there then. Let's go somewhere else. Uh, the smell of musty maps, guidebooks, and camping supplies fills the air. Harold said, Welcome to Alder's Dry Goods, friends. If you don't see it, ask. I got most anything you need. Awesome, a trader. Uh, let's send Widow over to talk to the trader. We can sell some of our scrap. Small man with sharp eyes and soft hands. He flicks away. Uh, fly away with his swatter, then gazes deeply into your wallets. Howdy, folks. What can I do for you? I got guns, ammo, armor, medical supplies, and smokes. I'll also take almost anything you've gotten to, uh, in trade. Snake squeezins, scrap metal, broken weapons, odds and ends. What is this snake squeezins? Yep, I usually buy from traveling salesman from Rail Nomad, but he was a little short on stock the last time he came through, so I could use some more. Uh, what's that big pump behind us? Ah, that old thing. Story goes that the rangers actually fixed it up for us a decade and a half ago. Uh, not sure I believe that, but it broke down for good about a year ago. It runs, but it just spews the most foul cloud of black you ever smelled. Now I'm stripping it for parts. Already got the engine pulled out. The bitch should be worth a pretty penny. What brands of smokes do you carry? Got old brands. Choose are poison. But I got something special too. Recently traded for a carton of genuine pre-apocalypse coffin nails. Best smokes money can buy. Even after 150 years, the preservatives keep the tobacco as fresh as the day it was picked. Truly, the wonders of the ancient are mar miraculous. Want to buy some? Who is this traveling salesman? His name's Sammy Haas from Rich No or Rail Nomad. Makes a regular circuit through the waste, selling that sweet, sweet poison. Told me he was with Ace when Ace was murdered. Ooh. Know anything about the murder? Sammy didn't say much more about it. Seems spooked about the whole thing. You want to talk to him? You might find him in Real Nomad. That's where he goes to supply, resupply. Alright, what do you got to trade here? Let's uh, look at selling some of our gear here. We'll go to all. And uh, we'll just look at uh, all the junk here. Uh, I guess we can just probably sell everything, hey? Uh, yeah, let's just uh, sell that. Um, well worn, you can see the steel caps through the toes. So we just sell all the scrap. Not sure if we can do anything with these wanted posters. A wanted poster reads 1,000 scrap reward for the apprehension of an angry red clown, dead or alive. Angry red clown, angry red clown, dead or alive. I don't know if we need those. 1,000 scrap, though, that's quite a bit. A members only jacket. Not much remains of this cinnamon colored jacket beyond scraps of cloth. Miraculously, the name has uh, name tag has survived years of abuse. This particular item belonged to a person known only as members only. Okay, so let's uh, sell some stuff here. How do I sell the stuff? Just uh, do sell junk. There we go. Okay, so let's see what uh, we got for ammo. We got quite a bit of uh, 5.56 five, rounds. We could use some more pistol ammo. Uh, we could use some more energy cells. 
let's see here. Pistol ammo. 30-odd, 6 Usable and sniper rifle. Oh, maybe we should get some more sniper rifle rounds too. 105. Alright, well let's buy... How many should we buy? Let's buy 8. Okay. Let's buy... A dozen rounds of pistol ammo. Take a look at the armor, 125, 125, what do we have for armor? Nothing. Requires 5 strength. Well this one, you don't no requirements, just modifies 2 armor, okay let's buy this. Uh, we're down to 233 scrap, okay let's take a look at weapons. So we got an M14. What kind of weapons do we have? We could probably sell. Yeah, we could sell some of this stuff. Let's sell that. I don't really like these pistols anyway. Um, one sec here. I thought we had different. I thought we had other pistols. Hmm. I'm not sure what. To, all right. Well, we'll keep two pistols, I guess. We have two sap clubs. We could probably get rid of one of these. Sell that. We'll keep. Uh, we'll hold on to our TNT. All right. So we got a sawn off. We already have a sawn off. A uh, herbicide energy weapon. Nine to sixteen damage. Ours does six to eight. So that'd be a, a lot better uh, energy weapon. Let's buy that. And M14, M1, rust bucket, let's buy that. Okay. Anything else? Miscellaneous items. Short barrel, oh here's the uh, weapon attachments. Minus one attack AP. Plus four percent chance to hit, minus four meters, maximum range. Oh, well, we don't have enough money for that. Coffin nails, 45, 175, 180. How much does one of these cost? 20 each. And how many do we have? We have four. Or no, we have three and then a small medic pack. I think we have enough basic trauma kits. Let's buy let's buy a couple of these. Or I guess we can just buy one. Alright there we go. Alright that's good I think. Talk to you later Harold. Alright so Who has the energy weapon skill again? Hex. Okay. Uh, I suppose I could sell this too. Alright, let's give Hex the uh, herbicide. Uh, they didn't have any energy cells though, so we'll just hold on to this for now. Um, junk chest plate. We're already wearing a junk chest plate. You're wearing a leather jacket. Uh, so pills. Who else should I give a leather jacket to? Maybe uh, the widow? Who has the least health? 56, maybe Hex. Alright, where'd that leather jacket go to? There, let's give it to Hex. There we go. And anything else? Um, I guess we could sell these junk chest plates, Hex. Hey? So we have probably have 
couple of those. Uh, we do have some energy cells here, actually. Transfer those over. Uh, let's sort that. Just clean up these inventories a bit. All right, who has the, there we go, give you the sniper rounds. Sort that out. Oh yeah, we have these pistols. So yeah, so uh, we could probably get rid of these other pistols then. Yeah, let's uh, let's sell these other pistols and those junk, junk chest plates. Hold on there, guys. We'll figure this out. We'll sell. Uh, no, I don't want to buy it. I want to sell. Go all. Get rid of these two. Could probably just get rid of this two now. Let's get rid of that. And. Where are these junk chest plates? Get rid of that. Get rid of the junk pants. We don't need those. There we go. Alright, I think we're good. Uh, we could get healed up here, but we're all pretty high health. Alright, let's uh let's head out of here. Where's the door? Uh, this big contraption is a Patrick machine. You recognize a pump, lime, crusted pipes go under the floor. You deduce that this is a water purification device that looks broken. The gaping holes beside the pump leads you to think it could be fixed with a new engine. Alright, let's get out of here. We gotta find this irrigation uh, tunnels. Uh, here, Garouf, come here. Uh, We've seen Garouf. Um, this camera angle is kind of annoying sometimes. Nothing there to pick up, hey? Alright, let's push over here. Uh, that looks like it's the high pool underground, okay. Is there anything else to pick up or explore? Just take a I'll run over here. Uh, if we don't get the irrigation system fixed, we're all gonna die. Some chickens. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else here. Alright, let's just go down. Head on down, do a quick quick save. Uh, yes, let's go to the new location. Here we go. All right, let's go talk to Kate Preston. We found her. An attractive young woman in maintenance overalls, though thoroughly panicked at the moment. Uh, an attractive young woman in maintenance overalls, though thoroughly panicked at the moment. Okay. Did make sense the first time I read that. Sweat plasters her hair to her forehead and her hands shake with fear. Uh, calm down there, Kate. Yes, we've come to save the day. Uh, who's, uh, what do you think of Bergen? That's madness. No. That's right, we're the law. Uh, what's crisis number two? Well, we've already uh, you've already told us about that, so we'll we'll take care of that shortly, guys. And crisis three.
Oh. Hmm. All right. I definitely am. Uh, there are a lot of options here to keep talking. Uh, let's just uh, get to the chase. Got it. Uh, okay, we'll talk to you about the other stuff later. Okay, so we are in, I guess, uh, the room without a number. Would that make sense? Uh, I'm not sure if we need to know that right now. All right, let's, uh, we got a, a medical chest over here. Let's go open that up. Grab what we can. Uh, what's this? Antibiotics, okay, distribute that. Do another save. And uh, let's go into room number one. All right, is everyone reloaded here? Let's just make sure everyone's reloaded. Okay, I think we're good. Have you move over to the shotgun? All right, let's do this, guys. Onward. In we go. All right, let's go up high. I assume there will be some sort of uh, things in here for us to kill. You don't know what the machine in this room uh, does, uh, but they sure make a lot of noise doing it. Or what the machines in this room do. Can't read. Alright, so we got some uh, cockroaches. So let's... Uh, I guess we'll just get set up here. Alright, Nomis, uh, you go here. Crouch. Hex with the shotgun. You move up there. Uh, you just stand back here. And Widow. You go draw their attention. Here we go. The encounter begins. Oh god. <laughs> I didn't see that other door. Ah! <laughs> what have I done? Okay. All right, grab some cover here, Hex. Go right there. And you just go on ambush. Start shooting cockroaches. All right, take that shot. Not enough AP, okay. Uh, just in turn, I guess. Not enough to even crouch. Animus, of course. Ouch. Ah, so many cockroaches. It's so hard to see. Alright, let's just go up top here. It's probably going to be the best way for you guys to watch. Alright, we've got a good line of sight on everyone here. Yeah, so let's just uh, pick this guy. And turn. Pistola. Um, yeah, just start shooting. Just start shooting. There we go. Start spraying and praying. Well, let's go free aim. See if we can get all three of them. Now we got one. All right, who are we going after? So this guy, finish him off. Uh, two plus two? No. Ouch, the widow is going down. 
That was a miss. Uh, 83, okay. Take him out. Ouch. Nine. Hit him. I think we've only ever hit like three people out of all the times we've attempted. There we go. There's a hit. Ah! Okay, let's uh, just fall back a little bit here. Oh well, missed, but we hit the guy behind him. Ouch. They do quite a bit of damage. Alright, 11. So if I just move here, we should still be able to get a shot off. Yeah, we got this. We got this. Good thing there was no collateral damage there. Uh, just fall back again. Close. And finish this guy off. There we go. Out of range. Okay, I'll just uh, crouch. I uh, probably shouldn't do that. Alright, just ambush. You can finish it off. No! Alright, finish it off. There you go. Good job, guys. Well played. Well played. Let's uh, pick up all this cockroach legs. How much is that? Even worth seven? Scrap. Alright, distribute that. Distribute, distribute, distribute. Alright, so we uh, gotta do some healing here. Let's heal up the widow. Since she's hurt the most. And might as well heal up um, Hex as well. Yeah. All right. We should give her some more med kits. Who's got the rest of the med kits here? All right, let's give all this stuff over to pills. There we go. All right. Good to move on here. Go ahead and save that. Go ahead and reload. All right, so we're looking for some valves. I don't think there's anything down there. Hey, no. Um, actually, that map probably showed us where the valves were. Hey, maybe we should have paid better attention to that. All right, we got two doors over here, though. Let's open this one. Okay, so that goes there. Anything in here? Or is this just an empty room? Oh, there is a safe that we can open up. All right, uh, let's see. Let's walk in here. It's locked. Okay. Let's so send in our uh, safe cracker. We've got ourselves a Mark II Sven machine gun, more pistol rounds, and a spiked collar, a trinket. Okay, distribute those. Let's take a look at the spiked collar. Let's give that to uh, let's give that to Pills. She can wear that. There we go. 
Minus one kiss ass, plus one charisma. Yeah, that works. And uh, the submachine gun, who should we give that to? I don't know. I suppose, is it considered an assault rifle? Shotguns, I don't know, submachine guns, that's its own skill. No one has a, a submachine gun skill, so. We'll have to uh, just hold on to that for now. Maybe the next level up will give someone a sh submachine gun skill. Okay, we got a large room here. Um, what's this? A pre-war cellular phone in pristine condition. How in the world did they manage to shrink a phone to the size of a brick? The smell of mold and mildew in here is so thick you find it hard to breathe. All the junk on the floor is rotting away before your eyes. Still, there may be something of value in here. You never know. Uh, so we can't pick up the cell phone. All these boxes read Betamax, the entertainment technology of the future. That's a lot of Betamax movies. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay, uh, let's go this way. Uh, what's this? Box full of little black oblongs with buttons all over them. Ancient words of power are printed on the buttons. F, F, F. Rewind, play mute. Ancient technology. Uh, oh, there's just a single room here. Let's take a look at that. A bag of trash sits off to the side. One person's trash is another treasure, or possibly just trash. Can of tuna, okay, just trash. Nothing else in there, hey? No. All right, let's move on down this hallway. Taking care of some shit at high pool. Oh, there's the valve. All right, so she's a bit pissed off. Understandably, we're leaving them to die so far. Uh, we found some good gear there. We found a, uh, looked like a, it was a pistol barrel, was it? Let's see, who picked that up? Uh, a short barrel, so we can throw that onto a weapon. Uh, another one of these spiked collars. Let's give that one to maybe Nomis. Armor, clothing. Oh, I guess we're already wearing a trinket. Uh, we'll give it to her then. Uh, who had it here? All right, let's give it to Hex. Can you not wear that? Okay. Give it to her? Okay. Not sure why the other one couldn't wear it. And uh, I'm not really, we're going to have to look into how to do the weaponsmithing. Because uh, who has that skill? So we could try putting this uh, barrel, this attachment on. Alright, so we gotta give it to her. To Hex. Alright, to Hex. Let's, uh, let's put it onto the shotgun. We'll fit onto the shotgun, pistols, SMGs, assault rifles, or sniper rifles. Okay. Uh, we could put it onto a rust bucket. Hang on, let's try this. Let's 
Extra for parts, flag is junk, remove, barrel. How do I put one on here? Attach mod. Requires two weaponsmithing. Oh, okay, so we need a little bit more weaponsmithing first. That's fine. We'll level that up for her next. Uh, let's go ahead and turn this valve on this one. Uh, currently closed, a few turns of the wheel would open this valve and relieve some of the pressure on the system. All right, there we go. Yeah. Fantastic. Sounds good, guys. So we're going to end this episode here. We got our first valve. We got three more to go. Uh, probably some more encounters to be had down in the tunnels here. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to hit that like button. Leave me a comment below. Uh, if you've played uh, this section before, just let me know if you have any tips or suggestions. And until next time, I'll talk to you all later.